All right, Coach Romano, you guys are going into year four here with year Russell? Year four, year four, yes. You've so been the head coach the whole entire time here yeah. at Notre Dame College. You yes. guys are entering the season in the best shape you've ever been in. You are ranked second mm -hmm. right now to Southern Oregon yeah, that, University. That's, that's cool. They're the dual champs, mm -hmm. defending champs. But, Coach, talk a little bit about, you know, you guys have a lot, an immense amount of talent. I just saw the room. Yeah. Uh, I think I counted on the top, just off my hands uh, seven D1 guys. Mm -hmm. What's it like, you know, getting these guys in here? You got these guys that are top notch, Big Ten talent, you know, mm -hmm. EWL talent, MAC talent. What's it like getting guys in there, you know, and, and just kind of the competitions, NAI competition. What's it like, you know, wrestling that schedule? Well, uh, first of all, you know, we've had some great recruiting. I have some great assistants, and they've done a, just a great job recruiting, and they uh, have been able to bring these people in, and, and it really raises the level of. Uh, competition in the room which which helps immensely and we try to uh, put together a schedule that uh, will uh, you know bear that out so we've been able to get Ohio State the last three years we wrestled Purdue last year we're going to wrestle Cleveland State this year we try to go to the big open tournaments where they get a lot of D1 uh, caliber athletes to wrestle against and it's taken us uh, a couple of years here to get to that point but uh, uh, and we've had success so that just helps even more and you know there's lots of talent out there it's a big country and uh, we've been able to uh, recruit people who have, won who have gone to other schools and uh, they, they bounce back and come here. Most of them, if not all of them, are Ohio kids. Really, the only one that isn't uh, an Ohio prep uh, star was uh, Primus, who was a, a two-time state champ, big school state champ in Pennsylvania. He was at Missouri for a year and a half, and he bounced over to our program this year, and he's a real talent. So, but, but the other guys that have transferred were Ohio kids that have bounced back. Pelton's an Ohio kid, uh, Strong's an Ohio kid, um, Four's an Ohio kid, Kabbalah's an Ohio kid, uh, Hardy's an Ohio kid. Uh, hopefully I didn't leave anybody out, but those uh, uh, transfers are all Ohio kids, which okay. is good. You guys are in the, you know, like one of the top five areas prep-wise yes. for, for high school, and you, you're from the Great Maple Heights yeah. teams. But, uh, you know, how does that help recruiting, you know, be, and then you guys are less restrictive than NCAA schools yes. with, with money yeah. and, and people on the mat and things yeah. like that. Uh, how does that help recruiting? It, it helps immensely. The, the area, of course, is a great recruiting area. Everybody comes into Ohio, especially Northeast Ohio. Plus uh, uh, the, the idea that, you know, we've, we've had success yeah, really uh, uh, just adds all to it. The, the, the mix is really good. Again, I go back to my assistants. They've done a great job. Coach Ralph. Uh, Coach Summers, Coach Govang, and then this year we added Coach Jaggers, uh, who's the father of uh, Jay Jaggers, who just won two national titles. So we have a real experienced group uh, who are well versed in wrestling, and they know what it takes to win, and they they can see talent. And uh, we do have less restrictions as far as the the money. We we only have eight grants. Uh, uh, times equivalency, which is, which means eight times what it costs to go to the school. That's the equivalency. But the way NAI works their money is a little different. Uh, the only time the money counts against your grants is if a person actually participates in a, in a varsity competition. So if we go to the Ashland Open and we send someone unattached, which we did this past weekend, almost 35 guys unattached, uh, that doesn't count against our money. So, and that's the rule. I mean, when I first heard the rule, I thought, well, that's a pretty good rule. <laughs> but, because, uh, you know, in, in D1 and D2, anybody that you give scholarship money to, they all count, whether they're redshirting, whether they're not redshirting, but that isn't the case in NEI. So we have the opportunity in NEI to be more um, liberal with the money, and it, it really helps because, you know, money is tight and costs a lot of money to go to college nowadays, so that really helps us. So you're telling me you could have guys, you could have more than eight guys on scholarship yeah. if you redshirt a guy. Yeah, yeah. So if you we, brought Orlando Scales in on a full ride, which is, I, I don't know why you wouldn't, but, you know, you bring someone like that right. in, you redshirt him, you can have another right. heavyweight, and as long as he's exactly redshirting right. and it opens... Exactly Not one another name singlet. That's, that's exactly right. As long as, as he doesn't participate. So, for example, uh, we're going to bring Orlando out this week. We're going to wrestle him in the dual meets against Ohio State and Cleveland State and Finley. And, and then he's going to count. Whatever money he's yeah. on, he's going to count. Uh, last weekend, uh, you know, we had a lot of people, like I said, they, they, that wrestled, but none of them counted against their money. Except for the, we've brought out, um, I think, 12 people so far. All the people we wrestled in the National Catholic Championships that money all counts against our eight. And so, and Adam Kabbalah, yeah, Jeffrey Pelton. Yes, all those people who wrestled, that wrestled officially, that counts. And so what we're trying to do is... But Primus doesn't see, count yet. Uh, Primus counted because uh, we used them. Okay. Primus does count. Now, we have signed Cody Butzer, second semester, 
and uh, we'll see if he is, uh, you know, what his situation is. That we're saving some money for second semester because we have some people that we're hoping to get eligible uh, that might participate in second semester, like Josh Roller and Cody Butzer come to mind uh, real quickly, and there might be some other people too through recruiting. So what we try to do is we try to to not use all of our money against our eight grants until the second semester, then we see what we have. And once you use somebody, uh, that's it, you know, the money counts. So my job is not a difficult job, but it's, we need to keep track of the money. And so that's, what, this is the only division that works this way. And, but it's, it's a good thing for us, because we're able to, we're able to, to, um, to get together more guys. And because most college wrestling teams don't have, like we have, we started out with 60 guys. Now we're down to maybe 52, 53. And there's no roster cap. There's, there's no roster cap. No, no, they want, they want a big roster. They, it's the exact opposite of D1. They want a huge roster. They want a lot of guys to participate. They're, they're throwing money at people because they want to draw students. And so it's a really good situation. And uh, we're the only NAI team in Ohio that has wrestling. There used to be other teams, but with, with all the things that have happened, um, we're the only NAI team left that actually has wrestling. Okay, yeah. Iron Man's coming up here in uh, yeah. about three weeks. Right. You landed one of the top recruits in the country in Orlando Scales. Yeah. Scales. Does that yeah. give you confidence going to the Iron Man knowing oh, that yeah. you can sign anyone? There's guys there yeah, that will yeah, come to Notre Dame? Yeah, we, we, we aren't afraid to talk with anybody, um, whoever they may be or whomever they may be, because of their credentials, because we feel that we've got a really good group of kids who. You know, and, and our kids help recruit too. We have some we have kids on the team that you know are spokesmen for us, which really helps a great deal because the you know the kids like that. And no, we're not afraid to recruit anybody. We we feel we're, we're in a ball game with um, with anybody as far as recruiting. I mean, that's the only attitude to have really. You can't shy away just because you think that somebody might be too high profile not to. Uh, you never know. People like small colleges. We're a real small school. We're not a factory. Uh, uh, they they enjoy their sports, but they're it's not to the point where. Uh, you know, it's the end all, be all. We, you know, it's a very academic institution, and uh, the kids know that. And you know, like we would never have anybody miss a class for practice. That would be totally out of the question. Uh, we would never have anybody uh, miss a test for a practice session, or if there was a competition, well, they would excuse the person and have them take the test later or whatever. But but this is an academic institution. We're not we're not we're not a factory by any stretch of the imagination, which is good.